Ah, well, hello there. So in this video, I wanted to do a kind of like a final summation and kind of like a wrap up of the Symphor hair shampoo that I was using, kind of just giving a final product review of what I think it's about, how I rate it, and just kind of going over any misconceptions that other people had from the previous video. So I just kind of wanted to go over that in this video, just to sum it up, just get to it, and that way you guys know, because, you know, I had a definite answer in the end of the video, but I'm sure a lot of people didn't wait till the end of the video to hear it. So, but we're gonna go ahead and get to that. But before we do, I just want to make sure that um, everyone uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below before we get to this video and make sure to hit that uh, bell icon so then that way you're notified every time I make a new video. So that's pretty much it for that. So let's get to the product review. So unfortunately, I do not have the actual bottle with me. Um, there was a lot of people saying, oh, you know, you didn't try it long enough. You didn't wash your hair properly. You know, you need to use it for like six months. Well, so I ended up after that video, I did end up using it a little longer. I use the uh, both of the products, you know, the the conditioner, the actual um, shampoo. I did use all that for about maybe six, seven months until it fully ran out. And unfortunately, here's my straight up answer: Did it help kind of restore any hair loss, or did it prevent any hair loss? Here's the answer: No, it did not. So, you know, a lot of people are like, well, how is that possible? You said this, you said that, you rated it a three out of five. Well, I rated it a 3 out of 5 if you would have listened to the video. It was a 3 out of 5 because it washed my hair properly. I know that wasn't what the video was about, but I said I liked it because it, it had a pleasant smell, it washed my hair, it did a pretty good job, but it did not restore any hair loss, it did not bring back any hair, so that part, it was a complete zero. That's what I'm going to have to give it there. But as far as like washing my hair, yeah sure, it's a great shampoo and conditioner, but it did not do anything to bring back any hair loss or prevent any kind of hair thinning. So let's go ahead and get that out the door now. And something else to address too is a lot of people have been telling me, you know, you have a full head of hair, you're, you know, you have no right, you have no reason to be making videos about hair thinning or hair loss. Well, the thing is, Everyone's different, you know, we all know our bodies better than anyone else, you know, I know me better than anyone. And so when people say that, it's not really hurtful, but it's kind of like you don't know what you're talking about. So I just kind of wanted to clarify that. So people saying, oh, you can't make videos about this. Well, I can because I do have hair thinning. It, it is genetic. It's on my, my father's side. No, uh, my grandfather had it. It's just thinning. It just, it just happens. It's hereditary. So that's what I kind of wanted to get to as well in this video. So another thing too is I did cut my hair. So a lot of people were probably like, you wear a hat all the time. I do wear a hat all the time. I feel like I have a baseball kind of face. I have a baseball cap kind of face. I just kind of wear it a little better. I feel like I look better in a hat. That's just kind of me. But I did cut my hair, so I do want to show everyone. So here I am with my hair now completely short. So as you can see, it's like, I do have hair, but you can definitely see some like thinning here and especially here. So I'm thinking it happened here, probably because of my coif, of my pompadour, kind of turning it and like kind of making it go this way, it kind of thinned it out. And so when you do that, you put strain on the hair follicles and eventually it's just gonna fall right out. And I think that's what's happening here. I still have hair there, but it's not growing as fast. So you know, I would call myself, I'd probably be in like the first or second stage of hair loss. Um, and that's just kind of what it is. So I'm gonna put my cap back on. Not because I'm insecure, but I just feel like it looks better. I'm just, I just uh, like a security blanket for me. But, um, so that's kind of that. So I just wanted to show everyone that. But as you can see, I'm still getting thinning. It's not like Sinfor would help me at all. And it's not because a lot of drugs that are out there on the market, a lot of products that say they're natural, holistic, they're not gonna help regrow your hair. Unless there's like some kind of chemical in it that like blocks DHT, you're probably not gonna be able to actually prevent any hair loss or get any hair growth back. But there is something that kind of made a little bit of a difference. I have been taking supplements. I have been taking like biotin, keratin, um, collagen. I've been taking all kinds of weird supplements. And um, I feel like my hair has been doing a little better but I also use a different shampoo. Now this is one that I've been using. It's by Honeydew. I've been using this Biotin. What is this? Uh, just a regular Biotin shampoo for men and women. And it's been doing pretty good, but I don't actually recommend this red bottle. I'm kind of just using it just to use it. 
but I actually like the blue bottle. This one says it's advanced or like it's concentrated, it's extra strength, but I don't feel like it is. I feel like the blue one actually did much better. The red one, sorry, I don't, I don't feel like it's doing all too good. I'm just kind of using it up because I actually get a free product when I use it. And, and actually the company sent me this, I think because they figured I was going to make a review of this. Um, so if they're watching, yeah, okay, this one doesn't work so well. Blue one's much better. Don't send me this one again. But <laughs> so yeah, I don't like this one, but I like the blue. I do recommend the blue. My hair did feel a little better. It was getting a little stronger. I felt like there were areas that weren't thinning out so much. I definitely recommend that. So that's that. So again, just to sum it up for everyone, did Simfort help? Answer is no. Okay. Um, there's not really a lot of holistic or natural remedies for hair loss, unfortunately. You know, you can take biotin like I'm doing and it helps, but it'll help it, the hair that's left, it'll help that grow, but it's not gonna help you regrow anything, unfortunately. So my hair's growing fast, it grows relatively well, it's been getting a little thicker, but as far as like any spots that are kind of like, kind of receding, nah, it ain't touching that. So something to, to um, recommend is if you are getting a lot of hair spotting, receding hair loss, Something to kind of stick with would probably be like minoxidil or finasteride. I'm going to be getting to that in another video as far as the steps of hair loss. I'm There's four in my opinion. This is like, I'm not a professional, but there's like four stages in my opinion of like what kind of hair loss, what stage you're in, and what you should do to treat your hair loss or, rece or recession. So that's kind of like what I'm going to be doing in the next video, but I just want to go ahead and clarify exactly how I felt about Simfort. I gave it a try. I liked it. I liked the shampoo, but it did not do anything to restore my hair or prevent my hair from thinning or getting any kind of hair loss or receding. It didn't do anything, unfortunately. So a lot of people are like, well, how is that possible? Well, they sent it to me probably in hopes that I would spread the word and you know thinking i'm a small time youtuber i was like oh my god i'm getting a product i'm gonna go ahead and do you know a big video of this and you know i'm gonna get all these views and you know it's gonna be really cool i'm being sponsored but that's not what it is they just wanted to use me as kind of like an advertisement just free advertising and it didn't do anything so i want to come out and tell you guys exactly what i think it is it's a scam okay i've looked at it i've looked at the bottle and it, i believe it was say say gold that's where it came from in japan I've looked at that company, they don't make it. So they're doing all kinds of false advertising. It doesn't even do what it says it's supposed to do. It said it uses like, um, what was it? Carbon dioxide, carbon carbonic acid or something like that to kind of like rid um, the follicles. I'm sorry, that's not what happens. So the reason why you lose hair is like a hormone imbalance or DHT. And when there's excess of hormone in the scalp, your hair will start to fall out. It's not because it's clean or not clean. I mean, if you wash your hair every day, it's not gonna make your hair grow. It doesn't work that way. So, but I just kind of wanted to sum that up for you guys and I hope that really helped. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you guys would like me to make any other reviews, I was thinking about doing like maybe some cosmetic products and I could also do maybe like different supplements as well. I've already done that with biotin and keratin and other stuff like that. So you guys can go ahead and check that out. Um, but I also have things uh, from like Bath and Body that I kind of like. I've been getting into that. I've been looking at like globes and things to collect. So you guys can kind of check that out too. If you guys have any recommendations as far as what you'd like to see in the future, go ahead and let me know. I really am getting into this whole dermatology thing, looking into like hair or supplements for skin or skincare. I'm really getting into that. So I hope you guys can join me in for, for that little adventure on that journey. And if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know down in the comments and I'll definitely take into consideration. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I, I'm sorry for a lot of people that, you know, um, that kind of took my video the wrong way. So for those who have bought the product of Simfort, don't use it. It's not going to work. And those of you who are thinking about buying it, please do not buy it. It does not work. And, um, you know, I just apologize for any kind of misconceptions or you know, leading people down a primrose path. I didn't mean to do that. I did specify at the end of the video that it did not do anything as far as hair loss. And I did use it longer, like some people recommend it. They're like, I use it, you know, like maybe to six months. There's nothing in the ingredient list that's going to help restore hair. 
go figure. So, but that's it, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you found it resourceful, and I hope I answered your questions. And I try to the best of my abilities, but I am human. I do make mistakes. And so that's pretty much it, you guys, and I, I hope you enjoyed, and, you know, please make sure to give a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe as always, and make sure to hit that bell icon. I'll be making more videos very soon. So that's it, everyone, and hope you take care. Be safe out there, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.